this is Hunter with Hunter Tester Music. Before we get started, be sure to click the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I post more beginner banjo content. Uh, today what I want to walk you through are some basic banjo rolls. I've created uh, a document with nine basic banjo rolls and you can get this free tab in the link below so be sure to click on that and download that. So I have nine basic banjo rolls that I think are important for every beginner to learn. And this is also a good thing to start out your practice sessions with. So if you have your, your music pulled up, this document, the first roll I start with is the 5-3-1 roll. And when I say the numbers, I'm referring to the strings. So the 5-3-1 roll involves the fifth string, the third string, and the first string. I wrote each exercise for four measures, but you can play it each one as long as you want. So I'll go through each one of them separately. The first roll is the 5-3-1 roll. It goes like this. this down slower until you get it right. So uh, slow it way down until you can play it really good. So like this. So each of these rolls takes super slow and then gradually increases the speed. It took me a long time to uh, master rolls when I was just starting out on the banjo. I think I first started um, just strumming and playing bar chords like this. I didn't know much to start on the banjo, but then I followed more of the bluegrass style and they used the Scruggs method, the finger picking. So then I started to uh, learn a little bit of rolls on my own until I eventually mastered it. So if you're looking to learn more of like the bluegrass style of playing, I'd recommend um, trying these rolls out. I'm going to go to the second one on your piece of music there. It's the 5-2-1 roll. It involves the fifth string, the second string, and the first string. So it's very similar. You're just switching out the middle note to the second string. So the fifth string, the second string, and the first string. So this roll goes like this. And again, you can uh, practice until you can play it quicker. But don't focus too much on that at first. The next roll I have listed is the 3-2-1 roll. It involves the third string, the second string, and the first string. And the next roll I have listed on the music is the reverse roll. It's the opposite of that. One, two, three. So it involves the first string, the second string, and the third string. And then, once it's sped up, it sounds like this. I think the reverse rolls like that are more complicated at first. It might take you more time. The next roll I have listed on this exercise is it's an alternating roll between the 5-3-1 and the 5-2-1. So you take the top two rolls on your paper and they're merged together. 
So you alternate between the 5-3-1 and the 5-2-1 roll. So it sounds like this. And when you speed it up. The next roll that I think is important for every beginner is the 3-2-5-1 roll. So it involves the third string, the second string, the fifth string, and the first string. This roll is used in uh, many songs I can think of, specifically I'll Fly Away and Cripple Creek. So that's a couple of beginner banjo songs that you can use this in. And that's usually used with a slide, so it sounds like this. So you're still using the 3251 roll, but then you're adding a slide on the left hand, but we'll get to that later. The next roll is the 4251 roll. So it's going to be the fourth string, the second string, the fifth string, and the first string. So it sounds like this. And faster. The next roll I have listed is an alternating roll between the 3251 and 4251. And the last roll I have is three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. And if you see my other videos, I cover this in the Boil Them Cabbage Down tutorial. That song uses this this roll through the entirety of the song. So it is the third string, second string, first string, fifth. Then it's the first, second, third, first. But that's all connected. Then when it's sped up. Example and boil them cabbage down, it sounds like this. So, there you have nine basic banjo rolls, and again, be sure to download that in the link below. I'll include that for each of you to have, and let me know how these rolls helped you. Uh, I want to know where you're at. Are you a beginner? Are you uh, more of an intermediate level? I want to know where you're at. And if there's any um, helpful things that I can teach, I'll be glad to create a video about it. But I hope you enjoyed this and the basic roles that I taught. And again, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll be creating more beginner banjo content soon. And I hope to hear from your, uh, how your banjo journey is going. <laughs> See you soon.